Hi everybody. I figured today I would do my currently page for June and get myself going for June. I'm a little bit later than normal, but I figured it's time to get going. All right, see you in a minute. For June, I thought I would honor the military Memorial Day. I have a lot of veterans in my family and some have passed on, some are still alive, and some are still actively serving. So I thought this would be a good time to honor the military and what they did for us. So I thought I would also com um, combine, can't even think of words today, sorry. Um, flag day because when I think of military I think of soldiers standing with the flag then I thought how about I can combine the Christian flag all those who have gave their life for the Christian life and combined it all in one and honor all those who gave up their lives so we could have what we have so I have my uh, faith journal and I have my Bible I have my paint things and I figured I'd get started I bought this uh, folio from Amazon and I like it in some ways but it doesn't fit my faith journal in there very well so on another video I'm going to show you how I make a, a folio to fit my faith journal but for right now I'm going to take this out because see I can't even put my pens in there I, I put a thing I need to focus on in there instead I'm going to put this aside with its band because the band doesn't stay on that was a disappointment because I don't want to have to keep up with the band so when I make my own I'll have to work on that and I'm going to go to my June page. I penciled it out like normal. I'm hoping that the um, the different setup with the sun coming in the window will help have a better view. I don't know if it will help or not. I see the paint thing. I don't know if that helped or not. All right. So what I have is June. I have Flag Day and Father's Day. I didn't put Memorial Day on there because it's actually in May, but I figured I'd combine them all together. And I have my little paper that I usually figure out what paint colors I want to do with my... Um, I'm going to get out my paints. And this time I'm going to use this paint set. I got uh, its Master's Choice. I got it at Michael's one time. It was on sale. And I thought, I don't use it anywhere near as much as I should. So I thought I would get this out to swatch out the paints I want to use. I'm going to put it like this for right now. And I didn't do, uh, you know how I do a lot of the themes in a little card? I didn't do that this time. I just started drawing on my page, which can be dangerous because then you have to do a lot of racing if you're not careful. So the Christian flag is white with blue. Let's see. It's white with blue and red and you know the American flag is red white and blue so I thought that was going to be my theme this month so in my painting bag I'm going to get out uh, some paint brushes and decide which colors I want to use so I think I'll use this brush right here to do my swatches and I have my water here and for the red I thought I would do a red red I can read that one brilliant red 15 
All right, so that looks more like the red that is the red we need. So I'm going to put these other ones back. Hmm. No, that's muddy, but I had that brown in there. Hmm. That's better because I wanted it to be a darker red. That's not going to work. So let's get some more red in there. Okay. I believe that's what I want. Yes, that's more like what I wanted. Okay. So this is the winner. All right. And that's these two colors together. All right. And then the white is white. And then the blue, I wanted a a blue blue oh, that's shamrock that is not a blue blue this one is Persian blue I think this one's too bright Yeah, that's too bright, I think. Let's try this one over here. He looks... Oh, sorry, Mr. Paint Color. He's uh, ultramarine. He might be bright, too. I got paint on my... There we go. Ah... Yes. All right. That's the blue I want. All right. So red, white, and blue. And I have a church in the background, which I will use the gray here for the roof and I want a brown cross at the top of the steeple so I'll put that out all right I'm gonna pause for a second and go get my white okay I got my white paint it came with a little cheap set that I got at uh, five below and and I uh used up all the other little colors that came in this set I was uh, I liked it in some ways but it was uh, I don't know I don't know if I'm a I'm gonna use up the less this white I don't know if I'm a liquid paint fan or not I thought about using gouache if anybody's used it and can tell me their thoughts on it let me know okay Got the last of that used up. All right, so I have my red, white, and blue. And these are my red, white, and blue colors right there. I'm going to put this up here. I put my white on this paper here so that uh, uh, I wouldn't get it mixed with that. I can't even think today, sorry. So let's see if I can move this back just a tad. Gives me a little bit more space. And I'm losing my sunshine, aren't I? Huh. Oh, bother. All right, so I'll see if I, it's starting to come back. Let's see if I tilt the curtains a little bit more. Well, the shades. No, that didn't help me. I think that made it worse. I don't know. Let's see. 
No, I think that's better. All right, let's get my coffee. All right, and I'm going to move my pens over here, move this here so I don't have a shadow. All right, let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to start with the background and work my way forward. So I debated what to do. I thought about putting a sky blue all the way around, but then I, I, the other things wouldn't stand out as much. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave the background the way it is and then go from there. Okay. So when I do it, I want to do the furthest back, which would be the church. And I'm going to do my little steeple in a little paintbrush and I'm, I picked this one and it's Artist Loft number one and I'm going to do the steeple in the brown. Should I do the steeple? No, I'm going to do the roof in the paint's gray so that it stands out different from the cross on the top of the steeple. My hand's a little shaky today. I've had some allergies, which I think everybody in this area has dealt with lately a lot of allergies. And they're kind of wreaking havoc on my system. So I took some aller extra allergy medicine to try to get myself back. So please forgive my uh, shakiness and I'll try not to make too many boo-boos. All right, and then I want to do my uh, cross at the top. And I'm trying to find the brush. Oh, no, I don't see it here. Maybe I forgot it. Well, we'll do without it, and we'll do a different brush. It's a shame because that's my favorite one to do those things. All right, so I'll use this one, and it's an artist love. I don't know the number because, oh, two. All right, and then I'm going to use my number two. <laughs> to do my cross at the top. When I travel, I like to look for steeples. My, uh, goal is one day to be able to do uh, take pictures of different churches and different steeples at different seasons and do uh, a year just of steeples so underneath the roof area I thought I'd do white but I want the roof to dry first so on the Christian flag it's a white background with blue and red so I'm thinking I should do the blue first and let it dry or should I do the red first? I'll do the red first and then let it dry and then do the blue around it. When you travel, what do you like to take pictures of and see? Let me know in the comments below.
here we go. I don't know if it's uh, the best I've ever done, but we'll do the red on the flag next. With my hands so shaky today, I don't want to mess up, so I'm going to try to be real good and slow and careful. So I'll be quiet in spots so I can speed it up. just thought about it. if I put the white church there with the white flag the Christian flag won't stand out so we'll rethink that for there the next thing down would be I think I'll do the paints gray on the right at the bottom of the steeple as well Just a little bit lighter. And then I'll do the white church down there with a Payne's gray door. Can you see that? Oh, nope, you can't. Let's see if I can move it. Oops, I just dropped something. There we go. I think that's got it now. Some people have red doors on their churches. And at first I thought that would be lovely. But I don't want to take away from the red on the flags. I want the flags to stand down. Because of flag day. And remind us about all those who have gave their life up so that we can have our freedom to worship the way we want to worship. Alright, so I'm going to start at the top with my white. It's just going to be a light white wash over everything. Not opaque or anything, but enough I think to make the page you can see on the page the difference on the white flag and the cream background although it's not 
showing up too much right now. We'll see. That's why I thought about gouache before because sometimes you just want opaque. Here I want my verse to stand out behind the Christian flag. It'll stand up, make a difference enough once everything's dry and all. All right. And the white stripes here. a little messy. Let's see if I can fix that. Better not mess with too much or I'll make it messier. doing a very good job on these stripes, am I? What have you guys decided your theme for the month's going to be? I like seeing other people. So I watch other videos on um, what their themes are for the month. Let's see about the church now. to the roof underneath there. So let's see about a light Payne's gray in here for the roof without messing anything else up. I hear people outside having fun. Hope they're enjoying their day off. But there's a a park oh a park near here called Heritage Park. And it's got a memorial for veterans. I hope people are going over there and honoring their veterans.
that'll be okay. All right. So the next thing, I, I'm going to do the pole next. And I thought I'd do the pole going down in the brown to match with the cross. Let's see. So I don't put my hand in the other side of the paint while I'm doing this. I'm going to turn it upside down and start from the bottom and work my way up. the flag to the pole I figured I would do in gold with my gold pen probably once the painting has fully dried now for the blue on the picture let's get some blue going to dry so I'm gonna pause the video and then I'll be back okay the paint um, primarily dry now so I figured I would start to write my words on the page and I thought that I would use some pens that I have that I like how they write Because they have uh, thin points and I have lots of colors and see how they do and for June I wanted it in a blue blue for the June and 2023 to kind of go with it but I don't have a navy there so I pulled out this pen here because it's a darker blue than the pen I have there. And I'm going to see about doing my uh, words. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. Yeah, this is a nicer blue for this. And I'm not sure, but I think I want my little dash lines in the red on here. So,
Okay. For the numbers and things down the side. I'll do blue on the outside for the letters of the days of the week. And probably red for the numbers of the days. Keep with the theme of red, white, and blue. this out of the way. Okay, so we need the red because I do believe I want the red to go across the top underneath the words. Okay, and then my numbers. All right, and for the two holidays, I'm going to use this light blue. Later, I'll fill in appointments and birthdays and all of that. Now I'm going to erase on this side extra pencil lines that might show up because I tend to forget to erase them. And then I'm disappointed later when I look back. I'm like, why didn't I erase that? No, I have. Alright, so on this side, I want to do my verse. And I like my verse in black. So do I want this black? I think I do. And I want to get my gold pen. No, that's not my gold pen. Here's my gold pen. 
I'm almost out of gold. Probably uh, need to look into that soon. There's the gold rings. For the flag. More flags. And we'll write our verse in. in the background is my banner. All right. My reference is next. Here we go. Thou hast given a banner to them that fear thee, that it may be displayed because of the truth. See La, Psalm 60, verse 4. Part here, let's see, my focus on. I'm getting it out of my cute little pencil pouch because uh, my little yellow smiley is oh where's my pencil sharpener do my yellow smiley eat my pencil sharpener there it is my yellow smiley is uh always makes me smile I'm going to use my brown colored pencil to make the rope go down the edge like that and I'm going to get, let's see, my black color pencil if I can find it. I think. Here he is. He or she. 
and I'm going to just lightly outline. Before I do that, I should erase my pencil lines in here. A lot of times I'll just do my pencil lines as lightly as possible, but I was afraid I was going to uh, not be able to see my words behind my painting if I did that on this one. Alright, I just smeared my ink on that, but we won't focus on that right now. And then the church door. I'm going to make it a double door. Come on in. And then the outside of the... F oh, let's get up here. Turn it so I can get it right. The outside of the flag so it stands out a bit better. I like that. The church roof. The American flag. Where we're supposed to get freedom of religion. Feels like it's missing something. My white gel pen for my stars. Let's get a picture of a flag. Make sure. Okay, so it's kind of got them every other and then back and forth. Okay, I want to make sure I do it right, so. All right, I do like that. I think I want to outline my cross on my Christian flag with the red. Let's 
I'm liking it better. Okay. Well, I think that's going to be it for this month's setup. I hope you like it, and I hope that you will uh, tag me below and comment and let me know what was your theme for this month, what was your verse for this month, what were you going to focus on, so that we all can share, and I just realized that Mike can put this here, and grow and get set up. Well, that's it for now. Thank you for joining in. Please like and subscribe.